Welcome to another episode of I Wonder, Doctor. Today I'd like to talk about a concept known as the compression of morbidity. And what this is about, it's not necessarily how long we live, it's how many of those years were vital, functional, and having fun. Let me go into the medicine of this. There was a medical doctor, a professor emeritus at Stanford, who did a study in the 1980s. He wanted to look at this phenomena where people are healthy and then they start declining. And they decline and they decline and they decline and then they get so declined that they start meeting up with the medical world through diagnoses, procedures, hospitalizations, etc. And he called that period of decline the developing of morbidity. His ultimate aim was, was to lengthen the time that people were living healthy, vital lives. And what they were actually doing is they were compressing the morbid time of their life into a very narrow zone. Yeah. So someone could live 90 or 100 years and have 30 or 40 or 50 of them be compromised health, wheelchairs, hospitals, hospital beds, nurses. Or somebody could live the same amount of years, 90, 100 years, and have two or three years of that and a lot of years of fun and play and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah. Right? How important is that? <laughs> right. And I can tell you, in working with a lot of older people and in being somewhat older myself, for sure, those things really matter. So if you're in your 20s and you think you're invincible and stuff, there's going to come a time where you're going to really wish that you had <laughs> compressed morbidity. <laughs> yeah. The other thing I'd like to address is the number one thing that compresses morbidity. Yeah. It's exercise. This doctor, as part of his studies, noticed of all the things you can do, to let yourself live longer and stronger yeah. is to do vital, vigorous exercise, not to the point of pain. It has to be painless exercise. In one of his studies, comparing those who did not exercise with those who were exercise aficionados, the aficionados could extend their health span, compress morbidity by 16 years. That's humongous. That's unknown in medicine, something that's that powerful. This makes me think of Grandpa, your, yeah. your dad. Yeah. Um, he was playing tennis, of course, as you know, all the way into his 90s. And so I'm thinking there's maybe this sort of this double play here. On the one hand, he loved tennis, so he kept on playing it. And the reason that he could keep on playing it is because he was playing it. And he didn't get sick until very close to the end of his life. He got to exactly. be healthy and happy and work and do all the things he did right up almost to the very end. Exactly. And he yeah. worked right up to the end. Yeah. And all of his life, he knew about exercise. Yeah. And you talk to anybody, and this is a day and age who there's a lot of people who really get exercise. And you, you talk to someone who is a very committed exerciser, they are going to tell you with passion that exercise is great because they can feel it. They know it. But I wanted to give you a little of the science behind it and how it can actually lengthen your health span and, funny way to put it, compress morbidity. <laughs> <laughs> and the last ingredient I want to add is because I deal with this one all the time. I have two daughters. Is fun has to be part of this. Yeah. My wife was laughing at me, as she does frequently, for very sweet reasons, saying, you've been going to the gym since you were 16 years old. You walk on those treadmills on and on and on for a gazillion miles. Why do you do it? Mm -hmm. And I had to think about it for a while. And I realized that there's lots of reasons I do it. But one of them is I actually enjoy it. There's a feeling as I walk out of the gym, some, some good mojos flow in my body. I'm not doing it because I should. I wouldn't have maintained it all these years. I just don't have that much discipline. I do it because I got the ball rolling, and now that that ball is rolling, I enjoy it, and I keep it up. And anyhow, I just wanted to add You that can feel it. Because I can feel it, and I like it. Yeah. So moral of the story, develop some form of good, robust exercise. Be religious about it, and be sure it doesn't include pain the painless exercise that extends lifespan. Great. Thanks.